Trump leaving country as DOD issues horrifying warning that will leave thousands without power during November 4 riots. Ever since Donald Trump was elected as president last November, the left has been busy fanning the flames of division in America to create as much as chaos as they can, and now that the anger and frustration may turn violent this upcoming weekend. On Saturday, November 4, the country is bracing for potentially violent protests by the dangerous South Left group, Antifa, which has planned for the last several months to take to the streets in force to protest against President Trump and VP Mike Pence. While these possible demonstrations may turn into riots, there is another concern that the Department of Defense has discovered that could leave millions of Americans in the dark, and President Trump out of the country. This weekend Antifa is planning on protesting and considering their track record they most likely will turn violent. Now, the thought of mass Antifa protests is in itself enough to cause Americans to be on guard, but what the Department of Defense has also planned this weekend is not going to help matters any, and it is terrifying. According to the National Association for Amateur Radio ARRL, portions of the Department of Defense DoD, will conduct a communications interoperability training exercise across the United States on November 4 to 6. The announcement of this drill was made on October 24 but was not widely distributed to the masses so that they did not create panic, and why wouldn't it? This simulation will produce a total grid collapse that will leave millions of Americans in the dark all while Antifa is running around the country sparking violent riots. Here is more from Zero Hedge on how this simulation will work and what you can expect. Explained by Army Mars Program Manager Paul English. This exercise will begin with a national massive coronal mass ejection event which will impact the national power grid as well as all forms of traditional communication including landline telephone, cell phone, satellite, and internet connectivity. In July, we warned about the U.S. government quietly preparing for a massive coronal mass ejection with the passage of an executive order, coordinating efforts to prepare the nation for space weather events. Here is a snippet of Section 1 of the executive order. Space weather events, in the form of solar flares, solar energetic particles, and geomagnetic disturbances, occur regularly, some with measurable effects on critical infrastructure systems and technologies, such as the Global Positioning System GPS, Satellite Operations and Communication aviation, and the Electrical Power Grid. Extreme space weather events, those that could significantly degrade critical infrastructure, could disable large portions of the electrical power grid, resulting in cascading failures that would affect key services such as water supply healthcare, and transportation. Space weather has the potential to simultaneously affect and disrupt health and safety across entire continents. Successfully preparing for space weather events is an all-of-nation endeavor that requires partnerships across governments, emergency managers, academia, the media, the insurance industry, nonprofits, and the private sector. Back in April 2017, we wrote an article titled Yesterday's Broad Power Outage Likely Caused by Geomagnetic Storm. While everyone thought terrorism was to blame, we correctly pointed out that large power failures in major U.S. cities was due to an intense geomagnetic storm registering 810 on K planetary index. Now, you may be asking yourself what is a massive coronal mass ejection right about now, right? Well, Glad you asked since Earthsky.org provides an easier explanation of what a coronal mass ejection is. A CME can launch a billion tons of plasma from the sun's surface into space, at speeds of over a million miles per hour. Every so often, the sun burps. But, unlike myself, when the sun burps, it does so with the power of 20 million nuclear bombs. These hiccups are known as coronal mass ejections. CME's powerful eruptions near the surface of the Sun driven by kinks in the solar magnetic field. The resulting shocks ripple through the solar system and can interrupt satellites and power grids on Earth. So, hopefully, that cleared up some questions you may have concerning this exercise, and we can get back to what possibly may occur this weekend. The Department of Defense will work with the United States Army, U.S. Air Force, Mars organizations and also the amateur radio community to request status reports from thousands of counties in the United States.
During this terrifying exercise, communication frequencies will use HF and VIS, VHF, UHF, and non-internet linked amateur radio repeaters. In addition, Army Mars program manager Paul English said, We want to continue building on the outstanding cooperative working relationship with the ARRL and the amateur radio community, English said. We want to expand the use of the 60-meter interop channels between the military and amateur community for emergency communications, and we hope the amateur radio community will give us some good feedback on the use of both the 5 MHz interop and the new 13 MHz broadcast channels as a means of information dissemination during a very bad day scenario. Here is the full report from the National Association for Amateur Radio. According to Market Watch, Trump will be headed to Asia on November 3 which has many wondering what he knows about this possible drill. No matter what happens this weekend, it is essential that we all remain calm and vigilant and have a plan. If the government does move forward with this drill during a weekend of proposed violence by the violent left, please make sure you have what you need to stay safe. Stay safe.